Hello, grade 6. Our lesson today is proportion. The objectives of our lesson are define ratios and proportion, determine how to show that a table is proportion, find the fourth proportion, determine how to calculate the percentage as a fraction and vice versa, guide the practice, and to do lists. To reach a proportion, we should pass through ratios. What are ratios? A ratio is a comparison of two numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. For example, if there were 18 boys and 12 girls in a class, you could compare the numbers of boys to girls by saying there is a ratio of boys to girls is 18 to 12. You can express it in three ways, either 18 to 12, or 18 divided by 12, or 18 over 12. Always, you should reduce the ratio into a reducible fraction. And now, proportion. When two or more ratios are equal, they form a proportion. For example, if these ratios A over B, C over D, E over F, and G over H are equal, to k, which is constant, means a number, 1, 2, 3. This constant is called coefficient of proportionality. For example, we have two ratios, 4 over 8 and 3 over 6. We are going to check if they are proportion. We simplify the first ratio, 4 over 8, into half. And the second ratio, 3 over 6, into half. Then these ratios form a proportion since they are equal. To determine if two ratios are proportion, we can also cross-multiply. Pay attention here. We cannot use this method except if we have two ratios. If they are more than two ratios, we cannot use it. If the cross-products are equal, then it is proportion. For example, we have two ratios, 4 over 5 and 20 over 25. We cross-multiply them. Means 4 times 25 is equal to 5 times 20. Both answers are equal to 100. Then, 4 over 5 and 20 over 25 makes a true proportion. How to find if a table or a set of two series are proportion? First, we find A over B or B over A or any letter U, C over D, L over M, X over Y. If we get the same number in all ratios, then it is a proportion case. Let us take applications. Given series A, 2, 3, 4, 5, and series B, 4, 6, 8, 10, we are going to check if the given series are proportion. We are going to find A over B. The first ratio is equal to 2 over 4. We simplify this ratio, it's equal to half. The second ratio is 3 over 6. We simplify it as well, it's equal to half. The third ratio is 4 over 8. After simplification, it's equal to half. And the fourth ratio is 5 over 10. After simplification, is equal to half. Thus, the two series are proportional. And the coefficient of proportionality is equal to half. Another example. Series X is 2, 3, 5. And series Y is 6, 9, 20. We are going to check if the given series are proportion by finding x over y. The first ratio is 2 over 6. We simplify it, it's equal to 1 over 3. The second ratio is 3 over 9. We simplify it as well, it's equal to 1 over 3. And the third ratio is 5 over 20. We simplify it as well, it's equal to 1 over 4. Thus, the two series are not proportional, since the answers are not the same, so we do not have coefficient of proportionality. For the proportional, in A over B equals C over D, we have A, B, C, and D are first, second, third, and fourth proportional. For the proportional, whenever we have three knowns and one unknown, this unknown is called the fourth proportional. Let us take example. We are going to find the fourth proportional to 3, 5, and 15. Then, A is equal to 3, 
B is equal to 5 and C is equal to 15. We write A over B equals C over D. We replace A by 3, B by 5, C by 15, and we keep B as it is unknown. Then we cross multiply 3 by D and 15 by 5. So D is equal to 15 times 5 over 3, it's equal to 25. Then the fourth proportion is 25. And now percentage. A percent is another way to write a part of a whole. It refers to a number of parts out of 100 equal parts. Percent means per 100. For example, 6% is equal to 6 per 100 or 6 over 100. To find the percent for any fraction, we multiply by 100. Let us take examples. Example 1. Calculate the percent of half. We multiply half by 100. It's equal to 0 0.5 times 100. We can change the fraction half into a decimal number which is 0 0.5 or we can simplify 102. In both cases, we will get the same answer. It's equal to 50%. Example 2. We are going to calculate the percentage of red cars. Here we have 10 cars. Two of them are red. So, 2 out of 10 are red. In order to calculate the percentage, we multiply 2 over 10 by 100. Then the total answer is equal to 20%. Main notes in percentage. To change it from percent to fraction, we put the given percentage over 100. Then, we reduce the fraction to simplest form. For example, we have 25%. We write 25 over 100. Then we reduce the fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 25. Then we get an answer is equal to 1 over 4, which is in the simplest form. And to change it from decimal to percent, we multiply by 100 by moving the decimal point two places to the right. For example, we have 0 0.7. We move the decimal point two places to the right, then the answer will be equal to 70%. Here we have guided practice. Number one, find out if the following is proportional. 24 over 3, is it equal to 12 over 8? We cross multiply the two ratios. Then 24 times 8, is it equal to 3 times 12? 24 times 8 is 192, and 3 times 12 is 36. But 192 is not equal to 36, then they are not proportional. Number 2. Calculate the fourth proportional x. We have 7 over 5 is equal to x over 3. We cross multiply the two ratios. x by 5 and 7 by 3. Then x is equal to 7 times 3 over 5. 7 times 3 is 21 over 5. Number 3, part A. Calculate the percentage given below. We have 25% of 20. 25% is equal to 25 over 100. Of means times, and the 20 stays as it is. We simplify 20 and 100. Then, 25 over 5 is equal to 5. Part B. Give the percentage form of 4 over 5. We only multiply this ratio by 100. Then, 4 over 5 times 100. We simplify 100 by 5. Then, 4 times 20 is equal to 80%. And this is your homework. Take care and stay safe.